Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you how to find trolls. I know a lot of you guys out there are looking to get troll leather and tusks for your rock saddles and whatnot. And a lot of you guys have been struggling because you've been telling me so in the comments. Um, so, we wanted to do a video on this for you. However, I do want to warn you that this is not an exact science. This is not something that I can hey, say, hey, do this, you'll guarantee finding yourself some trolls. What I can do, though, is I can give you the best advice on where to look, how to look, and maybe what you should be doing alongside looking for trolls, which will, uh, you know, reduce the chance of the time that you spend being wasted, um, just in case you don't find any on that particular excursion out, if that makes sense. So, I've been running around for about 15 minutes uh, before finding this guy. Uh, so, pretty quick, not too bad. Um, you'll notice that I have a lot of buffs in the corner. Uh, so I, you know, I took some speed, uh, amber cake, which gives you speed and some wine to increase the duration. Oh, look, there's another one. Would you look at that? Well, and, uh, and we're going to teach you, uh, we're going to teach you how to find trolls just like this. So trolls will spawn in three different biomes. They will spawn in forest biomes, uh, cold biomes and, um, and mountain biomes, mountain biomes, cold biomes and forest biomes. They will spawn in, but it's got to be deep underground. So you have to be deep underground or in these biomes and uh, it can be a little bit difficult to know exactly, you know, what, which biome you're in when you're underground. So the part of the reason I decided to search this area is I found this. I found an emerald, right? And emeralds, as far as I'm aware, only spawn naturally like this in uh, mountain biomes. So I saw this emerald. I was like, OK, cool. So I'm underground in a mountain biome and I hopped up here. And, uh, and we found our troll buddy, who was, what, right here? Yeah, we hopped up, oh, I can't remember where it was, but we hopped up there and we found our troll buddy. So that is, that is one way to identify that you're under a mountain biome and that, yes, you can, in fact, find trolls in that biome. We actually got two here. And things, you got to also remember, things do take a moment to spawn as well. So I, I was yeeting through really fast, and in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm not giving time for things to spawn, really. So, you know, if you think you're in a reasonable area, instead of going out to a, a different area, so if you find an emerald, perhaps you know you're in a mountain biome, you might want to just run around in a circular motion, kind of staying in the same place, double checking, like areas like this, everyone's just spinning, areas like this, which is a nice big open place for them to spawn, because they are big, they need a big space to spawn, you know, running around and then double checking back here after things have had a chance to spawn may actually be a good idea. So. Now that we've talked about that, I'll also see if we can find one in a cold biome and uh, and uh, elsewhere. Maybe maybe see if we can find some different options. Um, but with regards to the mentality, now I would always take a diamond. I would always take a diamond if you're going if you're going out specifically looking for trolls. I try to avoid going out with a singular mission. I try to have various things that I can do on any particular excursion out so that it doesn't feel like a waste. Like if I go out and I look for trolls and I don't find any for an hour, <laughs> I'm going to feel like that time was wasted, right? But if I can be utilizing this time for different goals, happy days. Um, bringing a diamond. Why bring a diamond? Because trolls and stonelings will spawn in similar environments, similar places. Stonelings are the guys that, uh, the teeny tiny little guys that you need to kill to get a heart of diamond. The heart of diamond is required to make a resistance ring. So make sure you take a diamond out here with you. If you see a little stoneling dude, little tiny dude, pull out your diamond, put it in your offhand. Uh, I'm not going to go in survival because I got attacked by all these guys, but put the diamond in your offhand uh, and then go walk up to the stoneling and kill it. And you might even get a heart of diamond. So you might get an extra little bonus on your excursion out while looking for trolls. And the last side note that I would have with regards to troll hunting is that these guys can be found in doom like dungeons quite frequently. Because Doom-like dungeons often have enough space for them to spawn. They're often deep enough underground. So if you find a cold biome, a forest biome, or a mountain biome, and you found it, find a Doom-like dungeon, you might as well do that Doom-like. You'll get loot, you'll get experience, and you have a decent chance of getting a troll because you'll be sitting around in there for some time, giving it plenty of opportunity to spawn because it's in the correct biome in the correct place. So that's, that's my mentality with regards to it. I'm going to see if we can find one in a cold biome and in a forest biome for you guys. Um, and tell you how long it took as well. All right. Just to let you guys know as well, this is, I just went in spectator mode and flew directly upward. So this is just above where we found our troll. 
Uh, in fact, he might still be down there. Yep, see, just down there is our little troll buddy. So this, this color grass here, I believe, indicates that you're in a mountain biome. So you've got the greener grass over there, and that's a plains, I believe. And then once you hit this type of grass, in this type of area, uh, this would be a mountains biome. So anywhere with this type of grass, I believe, uh, if you're searching underneath, you can find trolls on there. And there's also the original one we found, which is right there. Here we go. This is, uh, I found this guy in five minutes, less than, less than 10 minutes. I basically, oh, he can hit me from there. I, uh, let's check the biome. Let's check where we are. So we are, uh, in a forest. I found a forest and I went down. Uh, is he a mountain guy or is he a forest guy? I think he's a forest guy because he's green, isn't he? So I, I found this forest and I just went directly down. And I find some I found some nice open spaces. So like this was a nice open space. There's a nice open space somewhere else around here as well. Uh, I then just went and killed this dragon over here, you know, giving some giving time for things to spawn. And then I walked over here and I found him. So that was actually really nice and easy. The thing is, guys, it's probably you're running, you know, you're probably just running, 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 looking, looking. I'm not finding any. You got to give them a chance to spawn. So finding an area and just spending a little bit of time maybe fighting in that area, whatever the case may be, give them a chance to spawn and it's not going to be too difficult for you to find them looking in these big open spaces like this. Cool, let's find ourselves a cold biome one and then uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, well, I didn't manage to find myself a frosty boy in uh, in any decent amount of time. However, I just, I was over there, I was looking for a frosty boy, um, but I just came over here. And I found these two chilling in this Doom-like dungeon. And this guy just down here as well. And I assume we're probably over a forest here. Yeah, it looks like we're over a forest. So those are those are forest boys. Um, and this kind of just goes to reinforce what I was saying with regards to Doom-like dungeons. Honestly, find yourself a Doom-like in a mountains or a forest biome. And uh, and just do the Doom-like. And, uh, and you may well find yourself a troll uh in the process i honestly think that would be the best way like i said there's no guarantee you guys want to be obviously prepping the other stuff that you can do as well you need amphitheater feathers you need uh or stymphalian bird feathers um amphitheater are the wingless or the legless dragons and jungles uh amphitheater uh that's the amphitheater the stymphalian birds are the ones that shoot the dart like feathers at you in the swamp biomes um and uh you need the avian treats, obviously, to tame a rock as well. I did a video on how to farm avian treats, uh, farm silex for avian treats. If you'd like to check that out, I'll put it in the top right corner for you. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel almost every day. I'll, I do take most Mondays and Fridays for editing. I also run a SMP RLCraft 2.9 server. Anyone's welcome to join. All you got to do is jump on the Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy, earn 3,000 channel points, and then redeem the whitelist uh, redemption through the channel points, and you'll be welcome to join us. All right, guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.